code on it and everything. Alright, now we save because we're about to take the final squad. Huzzah! As I run in with my squad, this has been, you know, through hell trying to get here. Probably not for the best, but I do want to use Terror here. And I do want to use... This is basically exactly what I want right here on these guys. Utah will be absolutely fine. It's really strong. Combined with Terror, it's very nice. That's our only support skill, right? No, we can. I should keep in mind that I have that. I could have actually made, like, those impulse blows. I could have made that way easier for myself, but I didn't realize I had that. Um, oh well. <laughs> Hopefully I'll remember next time. Yes. Do it. Alright. Squad 2! Yeah. It's kind of what I have to do, because I don't want to be ice banished. So, that's what we go with. She's gonna be pretty hurt, but she should be fun. Alright. Now then. This squad still can't do much. Just because Orph is so weak in terms of physical attacks. I could do that, I guess. Hell, it'll give her some extra mind. And then I could, um... Then I can do this, but... Oh, wait, no, she's Ice Banished. So that's even less effective. Actually, she's Ice Banished either way, so... Someone's gonna be Ice Banished. Orpha and Aspiria in the same team doesn't seem to be working well. The sad thing is, it's actually not... Or, it's not Aspiria's fault at all, rather. It's it's Orpha. Because Orpha is so... so Such a tight cast character, you know? She's basically only any good as a supporter. Esperia is actually, ironically, good as an attacker, good as a defender, good as a support. So, Orpha is extremely specialized. She can do insane damage late in the game with her abilities in the support slot, but, like, because she can be banished, and she can't fit into either one of these roles well, Orpha's really hard to use effectively with any kind of consistency. She's kind of a, a character that generally you have to put in the right spot to be good. Um, so, you know, it's not Shia's fault and it's not Asperia's fault because... Actually, she is really only good in the um, attacker supporter role, and Asperia is not exceptional in the attacker role. Uh, or the supporter role, I guess you could say, but she's actually, in my opinion, really good in the supporter role. Um, Asperia is really just kind of like a broken-as-hell character, in my opinion. She's... Her and Asalia are just stupidly good. And I just realized that I have this, the uh, game kind of covering the border of that. Whoops. Sorry about that. But anyway. Rant over. <sighs> yeah, I think we just do this. It's really defensive, but... You know. It'll do a little damage. And next turn, we should kill him. Um, yes. Oh, we kind of have to do this. Oh, I didn't... I didn't have any attacks, I'm an idiot. I am derp. <sighs> anyway... I do have attacks left here. Noted. Alright. And... Team 3. They can't really do... Actually, they can do whatever they want. But I, do, I don't want them to get the bonus, is the thing. Um, particularly, I want Helion to get that bonus. But then again, they just got a bonus, but I want Helion to get that mind. It's probably better used on Team 2. But... 
I want to make sure Asperia, or rather, uh, Salia gets that MVP bonus at the same time. So, hell, screw it. Let's do it. Use Inspire. So you get, uh... Come on. Did I seriously not kill him? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, she only had one of those left. Jesus Christ. She oh, I picked Impulse Blow. Um, leap Attack 1. Please, Asalia, just just kill him. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we finally got Helion in the 70s. In terms of mine. That makes me happy. Yay! True Asperia is by far the strongest defender, but she can't shine in other areas without a second capable defender in her party. That's true! Which is why Yuto plus Asperia is completely fucking broken. <laughs> because Yuto, also good in any position. Combine it with Asperia, and it's like, well... Just destroy whatever, basically, you know? Unless you need a... And actually, in that squad, really easy to fit Orpha in. Because Orpha can stay as your supporter unless you need someone to banish. Um, but then again, it kind of doesn't matter, because in most of those cases, Yuto can use his Ranger skills, and you don't really need to worry about him. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Uh, yeah, Illusion, I'm still here. Welcome back. <laughs> you two Asperia foe life. Watch all of their guards come like right there and I'm gonna be like, fuck, I don't have anyone over here. Oh. Uh oh. Are we gonna have a two front war? Rank C. It's basically like, hey dude, you sucked. <laughs> yeah, I took forever training, I'm sorry. And building ether refinement facilities and then looking for stuff that it wouldn't let me actually reach. Even though she's confined, Cowdy's daily life isn't entirely terrible. That's thanks to Lestina's efforts. Cowdy turns the page with a serious expression. She's reading a famous picture book of Rakios. A famous picture book. There aren't many words, so even if there are parts she doesn't understand well, she can compensate for it with the pictures. The title of the book is The Four Princes. It's a story based on the war when the Holy Yoto Kingdom was divided. The protagonists are the second prince of a certain country and his heroic comrades. This line is about the war with the ambitious first prince and it's accompanied by a funny picture suitable for a picture book. <laughs> Phantom encountered a 500 attack badass. Yeah, since then we've come across a 600 attack badass. The hero of the story fights so that his big sister can live in a luxurious castle. Cowdy judges that the order is backwards. First, his sister was captured, and that's why the hero had to fight. Art imitates reality, and all that. Cowdy's face darkens. She knows that Yuto doesn't desire to fight. Even so, if he doesn't fight, he can't save the hostage. <laughs> yes, Illusion. 600 attack! Lestina enters with an elegant movement. For a moment, Cowdy forgets her depressed feelings, captured by her movements. <laughs> she should be number one waifu. 
もうそんなことまでやはり香りの物覚えの餌は素晴らしいですよそんなこれは絵が多いからで普通の方はまだ Lestina is honestly praising her, but when she notices what book Kaori is reading, her expression changes slightly. She knows the book Kaori is reading quite well. And of course, she knows that Rakios is currently repeating the history written in that book. Like always, it's a very dramatic way of putting it. Be prepared for the worst. Those words weighed heavily on Cowdy's heart. This isn't news to her. She knew that he was fighting already. She just basically came here and said, Yeah, it's gonna get like harder, and so he might be dead. <laughs> oh, illusion. <laughs> Kaori bows, but Lestina shakes her head. <laughs> Lestina wants to tell her that everything will work out, but she suppresses that feeling as she makes the announcement. She has already become attached to Kaori. It takes great force of will to do it. Spinning blocks of doom will doom the world, I'll tell you that right now. I'm talking to chat, YouTube, by the way. They're the words of a leader responsible for her subjects. Cowdy knows that they aren't words spoken half-heartedly. Knowing that, Cowdy can't ask her to stop Yuto from fighting again. He did! Yes, Lord the Pete. The spinning blocks. Dun dun dun! It so happens that the book ends with the first prince retreating and the second prince founding the kingdom of Rakios. And the hero is nowhere to be found. There's a single sentence indicating that the hero, having finished his final duty, sets off on a new adventure. But it seems out of place. Kaori, who feels that the hero resembles Yuto, is most curious about that. Lestina makes an evasive answer. Of course, she knows what actually happened, but there's no way she can say that the second prince, afraid of the hero's power, killed him. And that these events really took place. She turns on her heel and walks away. Kaori calls after the ex exiting Lestina in a small voice. I hope you leveled up your dudes! Lestina doesn't lie to ease Cowdy's uneasiness. Leaving those words behind, she exits the room. Her unease grows. Still feeling uneasy, she prays for Yuto's safety. 
A dragon? No problem. 10,000 soldiers? Easy. Spinning blocks? Fuck that. That's right, Illusion. You know the score. There's a hierarchy. <sighs> I let out a big yawn, making no attempt to stifle it. Whenever there's a day without training, I always get lazy. Now then, maybe I'll go to the marketplace. Hmm? I feel someone's gaze. Looking behind me, I see Asalia's face peeking out from the gap at the kitchen door. Hmm? What are you doing, Asalia? Nothing? It would be obvious to anyone that there's some meaning behind this. Well, whatever. I pull myself together and start head uh, start heading outside, but Asalia follows after me. She's like a cat. Is this some new kind of game? Asalia? In the end, she follows me all the way to the exit of the house, with me still having no idea what she's doing. Ugh, what's with this girl? She is your new stalker, Yuto! And apparently our stalker to the battlefield. Yay! And there are allies. すでにサルドバルト兵とイースペリア兵が交戦しているらしく民衆にかなりの被害が出ています。イースペリアが占拠されれば、ダラムミネア経由でダキオス首都も危険にさらされました。どんな者なのでしょうか。Oh <笑> Oh uh, yeah, take care of this war and then come help us fight our other one. So you guys were, you know, thinking the game was slow. And now it's like... Just fight. <laughs> Silly wants the D. Whoa, that was a weird transition. It kind of was. Capture... Uh, what is that? Corono Kino? Corono Kino? That's a lot of dudes! Alright, so we got a boss there. A real boss. You can tell by the uh, icon color. Alright. I don't remember anything about mana crystals. <laughs> no age scene, what a letdown. Sorry, Lord of the Beep. <laughs> okay, so, first thing to consider, is there any route they can take besides the one that we're covering to get anywhere? I don't think there is. Like, they can't move. Actually, they can move from there to there, can't they? Which I don't really like. I guess that means that I need to quickly seal off that. Or can they? Because I can access there. Maybe they can't... Maybe they have to go here to go there? It's, it's really unclear. Yeah, that doesn't help. <laughs> Giving the MC blue balls. <laughs> uh, you guys are great. Alright. Um, first things first. Did I leave anything behind that I need to destroy? Training facility. Needs to go. Because we're going to build a new one. Um, can't destroy anything in Rakios. That's all undestroyable. Can't destroy Laos. And is that the town I'm in? I should probably build a tower here, because holy shit, look at that. I should probably build one as quick as I can, too. Uh, it's this one, right? Yeah. Who's really good at tower building? We have a level 3, dude. How long will that take you? Two turns. Maybe... Is it worth it? 
they're gonna be attacking us like almost immediately. So probably not. I should probably just go for the ten percent. What is details ether? I oh that's my amount of ether. That makes sense, right? Yeah, because this turn doesn't even count. I think. So let's just get the level one tower. It's, it's not gonna give us a huge boost, but it's a boost, you know. God, they're level thirteens and in there now, like regularly. But, you know, hey, we're level 9 and 8. And 5 and 6. Uh, we don't have any new characters, right? I'm pretty sure we don't. Alright, no new characters. Alright. Do I want to adjust my squads at all for... Well, actually, who are we going to attack if we attack? Uh, bam. Look at that illusion. We have a 1,000 power attack now. Um, but we don't want to do that because of Impulse Blow. I kind of want to get Helion up to level 9 in hopes that she can get EI Sword 3 too. But, anyway. Maybe we do that. Maybe we don't, though. Let's take a look at our other squads. Squad 2, what can you do for me? Uh, you can get hit by that 500 power attack really hard, I guess. I don't really like that. I kind of like th the attack we have available there a little more, though. Let's go ahead and make them our first. <laughs> 1,000 attack. That face. You tell him, Nelly. Alright. Damn. Damn. No, you don't. Bam. Oh, they're not dead. Really close, though. Okay, so we can't attack with them, but we're not going to be able to break their defenses because, hey, it's Orpha. Um, you know what I'm going to do right now? For right now, we're going to do this. We're going to put Celia over here. And Orpha and Nanaru are just going to kind of hang out <laughs> as the very... Tight cast red spears for right now. Sorry, guys. Uh, you will use Ice Banisher too. Actually, no, because I want to get rid of their defender because he's almost dead. So I guess I won't do that. Hmm. Yeah, I think I go with this. There we go. There we go. All right, now we're on the ball. No love for the lowly. That's right. Guilty as charged. Though if you've seen my family project, let's play, you know that's not true. Okay, I think this is what I want to do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah! Way to go, Helion. So he's still got... Yeah, he's got another tech. So that would be a really bad idea. Alright, we're gonna end the turn. That tower should be built next turn, right? I think. Yeah. I think we do that again. No, we probably should do that. Seriously, the Loli is too childish. Yeah, like, I actually kind of like her story, but it's kind of weird at the same time. So, I don't know, man. No, oh, well, he's tough. Uh, now then. That's not too tough. We still need another Ice Banisher. God damn it. So many red spirits. Um. I think we start with these guys. There we go. Alright, we got our tower. Oops. Now we build our training facility. They don't have ratings of that, do they? No, they don't. Um, 
This one. Pretty sure they don't anyway. Yeah, training is all one, no matter where you go. There we go! And that takes three turns, right? Oh, four turns. Okay, that'll take a little bit. Alright. He has nothing left to attack with, actually, I just realized. So, it doesn't really matter what we use. Oh, I just realized she's on leap attack one. No wonder she was doing so little damage. Derp! I can do that. I think I will do that. Easy kill. You also have to be on the FBI watch list. Uh, well, I like Orpha, but uh, she's not my favorite, so, you know, I'll put it that way. Hmm. And at times, Orpha can be, like, really annoying, <laughs> so it kind of depends on the circumstances. Yeah. Or. Probably, yeah. Very probably, yeah. Alternatively... But their defender's almost dead. So... Yeah. Okay. And group two. Actually, if I kill them, they're gonna be attacked by all three of these, so actually don't do that. Alright. Yeah, just because I want, again, Yuto and Asalia to kill as many people together as possible. That sounds terrible, but isn't it romantic? Wow, she really ate that fireball. Like, worse than I thought. But My favorite heroine in this game. That's a toughie, because I actually like several of the heroines in this game. Um, but, we're going to move everybody here, by the way. It doesn't look like they are able to move up unless they move next to me. Or in that town, rather. So They should all attack us now. Or at least most of them. Um, I like Uruka a lot. It's mostly because of her character, though, and not really her route. Uh, I like... I like Asperia a lot. Um, and I like... Kyoko a lot. But, um... Honestly, I like most of the routes in this game. The There's one route that I kind of think is, like, just, like doesn't get the attention of the others, and that's because she's not a playable character, and that's Lestina. But, uh, you know, I really kind of like everybody, to be honest. There's no one in this game that I dislike. My favorite route, I'm kind of, like, torn on, to be honest. Like, even there, I think I've named three people, and I'm not even confident that, you know... Like, I would have to look at them and then think about all of the routes. Because uh, it's not like I sat down and be like, yeah, this is my favorite route. Uh, but anyway, we need to Ice Banish this, which I didn't do last time. She probably shouldn't be blocking. It's probably a bad idea. Let's actually go with this team. We haven't met Uruka yet. We haven't met Kyoko yet. Well, actually, we did meet Kyoko at the beginning of the game, but um, we'll come upon her again later. As is probably pretty obvious. In fact, I know. I mean, it's not even a spoiler because, like, it was in my, like, Choose Our Heroine video. But, uh, you know, we'll run into her. I'm not going to say what the circumstances are or anything, of course, but, uh... You know, there's also Tokimi. We'll run into her at some point eventually as well, as it's pretty obvious, I think. That's not going to exactly, uh, win surprise of the year or anything. Like, I like Tokimi, but the problem with Tokimi's route, in my opinion, is that Tokimi appears so late in the game. Like, she doesn't get time to be developed as well as 
basically every other character in the game. Well, they have Harvest, which I don't like at all. And now, now is the time when I would love to use Orpha. But now I've got her off by herself. So, <laughs> now that she's uh, she's needed in this case, she's not available because of uh, my own biases. Hmm. Maybe we take care of this one first. Let's try that. Actually, yeah, they're ice banished. So they won't be able to heal themselves. But yeah, that's a good question, Illusion. Um, I mean, the thing is, it's also been so long since I played through the game, which, you know, is one reason that I'm you know, doing this Let's Play and everything. Like, I remember I really liked the game, but it had been so long since I played it that I don't remember... Like, I didn't even remember how the battles worked well. Uh, there's, Like I said, there's so many things I'd even forgotten about how battles worked at all. Um, so, like, I remember certain high points of certain uh, routes. Why did I move <laughs> Team 4? <laughs> but, um, you know, I don't remember, like, really specific things. So, like, I don't, I don't have a lot of confidence in my ability to weigh them against each other, even with my own standards, you know, which are clearly going to be different from, you know, random person B's standards. Let's do that. Actually, what I should have done, I should have moved Orpha into that group. Actually, no. I, I want them to attack this group. When we get the opportunity, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch Orph into a group when we're, uh, we're able to attack that group. Now then. Celia, your time has come again. Do I want you to use Leap Attack too? I don't want you to defend because you're too hurt. No, what am I thinking? Man, I'm, I'm getting so involved in trying to take out this guy that I'm not even paying attention to this. Can't believe I almost did that, to be honest. So yeah, we'll just use the Ice Sword. Two. The Ice Sword Dose. As it might be called somewhere. Alright, that didn't do too much, but that's okay. I think I might do this, actually. Just kind of shift away, you know, uh, the mind loss a little bit. Um, and she's too low level for me to want to put her there. She's at least got some HP to back up, along with a little better defense. So, we'll go with this for, you know, at least an attack. Order is done for. And now we just got the attacker. And they unfortunately still have the ability to kill him. <laughs> so they're just gonna stand there. Where is our training facility gonna be done? Um Alright, Yuto. Actually I should probably just give this kill to Asalia to ensure again she's getting that bonus. I mean it doesn't really really matter if she gets that bonus at this point. I just don't want it to be some random spirit. But then again, Acelia's already got like 100 mind almost, so it doesn't... I don't even know why I'm chasing it with her. Just like bias of, hey, this is gonna be the heroine, I guess. Um, now then. 
I've got to go recharge my stuff. Because I'm running out of attacks. <laughs> For my, you know, best formations, anyway. Which is important in this game. Okay. Yeah, this is the squad I wish I had a wharf on. Right here. Oh, excuse me. I'm getting a sleepy. In a few minutes, I think I'm gonna have to hit the sack. It's almost two o'clock here. Yeah, let's let's see how many impulse blows she has. She has four. She has all of them remaining. Since I'm gonna recharge soon, I I should go ahead and use some of those. Yeah, just do some major damage, Asalia. That harvest did not help you. All right. Now then. I feel like I should push through this dude, but then that'll leave someone out there just hanging. So I'm not going to do that. Actually, is that going to be ready next turn? The training thing? Yes. So actually, it's a perfect time for us to all head back. And then we'll let them come to us. We'll train up. And good times will be had by all. They're not going to actually heal any because they're not in a base. So if they're not going to come after us, it doesn't matter. I'd prefer that they did so we could slaughter them while we're, you know, well defended and, uh, and training up. But that's okay, basically. Is there level 9? Level 9? I want Orpha to be level 9 too. Because um, again, Orpha gets real good in those particular circumstances. They're just very specific circumstances where she is, you know, really good. <clears throat> and, you know, later on when she gets those massive damaging red spells. Um, yeah, they need to be level 9. Actually, Helion, you need to be level 9 as well. So, I'm gonna go ahead and level her up. Personal bias. I kind of wish that Helion was a, uh, a heroine, to be honest. I don't know, I just like her, her, like, super shy, mousy character. My own personal taste peeking through, I guess. Alright, let's level up both of our green, or rather red spirit, uh, sisters. Was it Shia and Nelly? Yeah. Alright, so we got some nice level ups. They're just gonna stand there. Nice, four level ups. Orpha! God damn it, girl. <laughs> I'm investing in you. You gotta make it worth my while. Hey! Thanks for making it worth my, my while there, Nelly. I appreciate it. Go ahead and just put that on you. Excellent. What you got for me, Shia? Impulse blow one! Sweet. I'm a fan. Uh, that attacks the enemy supporter. Which is going to be pretty cool. Now then, more training. Actually, what's my ether pool look like? Um, wow, a lot. Actually. <laughs> Himaka, you need to be level 9. Nanaru and Celia are being completely neglected for now, and I'm okay with that. Actually, let's get one of these slightly weaker trainers. Now, who gets trained up next? Um, Celia and Yuto, I both want to train up. Because they're just both really good. Asperia is also really good, so she's getting trained up. And which one out of Orpha and uh, Yuto? Or rather, I'm sorry, Yuto and Asalia. Got Orpha on the brain after our little mini lowly discussion. Um, Asalia takes a little less, so let's do her first. Which means that Yuto probably will end up staying level 9, but that's okay, honestly. Do I want to invest in Orpha another level here? She's so situational right now, I kind of don't think I do. Like, honestly, even in, like, this first playthrough, I don't know that Orpha will become super powerful. 
Because in one playthrough of, um, like, the first playthrough of the game, because, you know, with the different heroines, they kind of expect you to play uh, the game more than once and each time go to a higher difficulty. Because the first time you play through the game, you roughly end around level 30. You know, and we're about level 10 now with our characters. We're, we're reaching that point. Um, then when you complete the game on normal, quote-unquote, which is really just higher level enemies, um, you know, with different skills and stuff, because you get more skills the higher level you get, and so do the enemies. Oh, new class. Power Strike 1. Sweet. Um, but what I was getting at is that then you end the game basically around level 60. And then very hard mode, you'll end the game more like around level like 80 something, I think, then. Um... Yeah, I think that is. Hey, Celia too. And no new skill. Good job. But, uh, you know, and then you just replay the game numerous times on very hard if you want to get everyone up to level 100, which I did, because, hey, I like the game. Why well, choose a harem? Just go for the uh, harem ending. There's like a little epilogue scene. It is kind of like a comedy bit. This basically like a harem ending. I won't spoil it. But I think... Actually, I don't know, since this is a new game. It may or may not have that at the end of this game when I beat it. Uh, but it'll be entertaining to see uh, if it does or doesn't. But anyway, uh, actually train, right? Training! Forgetting what I'm doing. Just rambling to myself. Now then... Maybe Yuto... And... Yeah, let's get Yuto up. Who's gonna be the other one? Because there's enough for basically one more person, or two, like, low-level people. Which I'm not gonna do. Uh, not at this point, anyway. Asperia is still so cheap to level! I kinda wanna level her up again. But then again, I have, like, some pretty strong characters that are still level 9. Really, I'm waiting for her to get a better defensive move. So let's level her up. Um, Halion. And can I level anyone else up? I can. I can level up Asperia. I can't, I can't not do it. Oh, except for the fact that I can't do it. <laughs> That's pretty ironic, right? No new skill for Yuto. Makes me sad, man. New class for Halton? That, that's... Oh, it's just Halton. Not ha Haltian, or whatever I was saying. Earth Prayer 2. Basic healing skill. Activates mana, heal injuries, single targets. Okay, so it just heals more. 45%. Okay, I got it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, man. Excuse me. I understand now. So, Spiria, Celia, or Nanadu, and that's all I can even afford. And by 50! 50, 50 Ether. Spiria has to be the one. I could be the one. Yes, I went there. So, let's move these guys here. Now then, they're probably going to attack us. Yep. Man, you're real dumb. I mean, you are really, really dumb. We're not going to waste one of our terrors. I don't really want to waste an Inspire, but i got to do something. Maybe I'll use a Resist 1. Because I like hardly ever use that, honestly. I I'm basically more offensively minded most of the time, to be honest. Okay, no big deal. No big deal. Alright, Ice Banisher. We can easily take them out. Yeah, okay. So let's just do this. 
supporter is gonna be done easily. Alright. Now then. They don't even have an, a uh, harvest ability left, so they can't even heal. All they can do is use their power strike. Only I could defend with this crew, but I really can't. Not effectively, anyway. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try to speed this up a little bit, because I feel like I'm taking forever. I'm trying to make sure I don't get myself killed. But, uh, it's taking a while for sure. Alright, Team 3, join the fray. Team 1, do some damage. They can't even attack. They can't do anything. Sure, do that again. Bam. Now then... I think I'm gonna have Team 4 run in here. Actually, they can be joined by Team 2. Because they're gonna all gonna get attacked by these guys when they move up. Dark Impact. Enemy Supporter. Okay. We kind of got some strong guys, so I don't really want to move up right now. Not just yet. So I'm going to wait. They can attack us. Oh, they're not going to do it. Okay. That's okay, though. Leap attack two. I'm hoping this is strong enough to kill him, but I don't know that it will be. Here's hoping. Actually, no. What I should do first is this. And it would be silly not to. Swing. Yeah. 50 attack power. Okay. So now we've softened them up. And uh, otherwise we weren't going to even use Team 4 anyway. So now we should be able to kill. I think. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty. Yep. Oh! Why do you- why do you do that, Asperia? I have no idea what you said. Damn it. Anyway. <clears throat> Alright, we can do this combo right here. I kinda like it. Change that to Impulse Blow. Yes. They can't block the Terror with uh, their Ice Banisher, because it is a Black Spirit support skill, which cannot be banished. Oh, I didn't kill him! I was so confident we would take out their defender there, but we didn't. Okay, so this is going to hit our enemy supporter. Cannot be Ice Banished. Uh, which is, see, this is another case where Orpha is really handy, because you can't stop these skills anyway. So... Uh, except for the fact they attacked the supporter, so, you know, gotta be careful that Orpha doesn't get killed. But you see what I'm saying. This is actually a good place for this kind of formation, I think. She didn't get three, did she? No, she didn't. Didn't think so. Yeah, this is what we're gonna go with this time. Do our best to take out that defender. And we got it. Alright. Another squad where Orpha is actually really good. It kind of seems like the squads they have coming up now, Orpha's really good with. I might actually want to switch her back into my squad and take out Celia. Because that would be preferable here. Um, we can take out the supporter. Actually, I think that kind of is a good idea, to be honest. So, yeah, let's do that. We didn't take him out. We came real close, but we didn't. Oh, yeah, and Orpha is still a space behind, so we can't actually get her into our squad this turn. That sucks, but, uh, is what it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Okay, so we got a continuation battle here in the uh, in the base. It's not gonna be too tough though. Like none of these guys are gonna be really all that hard. That's not a bad combo really to deal with at all, to be honest. Honestly, I don't really know why they're the boss, but hey, not complaining. I kind of think... Excuse me, man. Yeah, I gotta wrap this up. I am fading fast. Real fast. Um, but I think we might go with this. But instead of Impulse Blow... Actually, no, wait, she's the attacker. Right, right, right. Never mind, disregard. Hmm. a little bit complicated. If we're gonna take out the defender, we don't need that much attack power. And she's running out of attacks quickly. So let's do this. Take out their defender, do a lot of damage to their attacker, and basically make it so we know we can take down their attacker quickly. That was my hope there. Uh, oops, wrong squad. You're what I wanted. Don't want that. Eh, well, it's not like I can do much else, really. I could do this. I could do that. It really doesn't matter which one, to be honest. It's a little weaker. And this hits three times, actually, so it definitely does matter. Uh, do I care if that's banished? Let's use this instead. Let that be banished. It's not a big deal. She'll live through that easily. Actually, she has accurate block three, doesn't she? No, that's what I wanted her to get. She got Earth Prayer too. Right, 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 right. It's all coming back to me now. Phantom is definitely getting sleepy. Now I'm an old 9 to fiver. Well, that's convenient. Attack the supporter. Not that it matters at this point. You attack whoever as long as it can hit anyone. There's no reason for me to hold that back, really. But maybe use Leap Attack 1 instead, just so we do some damage. Because we can take our time taking this one out. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, it's fine. Doesn't bother me. Now then... The only bad thing about having Helion and Yuto in the same squad... Both of them can avoid being banished. So having them in the same squad makes it to where, you know, one squad does not have that advantage. They could. So, you know, there's all these checks and balances that you have to consider. And I really kind of enjoy it. I think we might want to go for this offensive formation. She's just really hurt now. It kind of worries me. I think we might actually go with this. She's not going to be able to banish it, but that's fine. I hope we can take out this attacker. I'm not sure. Oh, she's out of accurate block twos. <laughs> okay, so fuck what I just said, basically. Ignore that. And instead, do this. Best I can do right now. I want to be able to use Orpha. See, now Orpha would be really, really useful. But after talking all that smack, see, in these situations, I could be hitting every one of these. I could kill this guy immediately. And I could do a lot of damage to their attacker and a good bit to their defender. And that's even before she starts getting those ridiculous, powerful spells late in the game. So just gotta find the right place for her. I guess this is what I'm gonna do again? Yuto is eating a lot of damage. 
really kind of needs to pull back and recover some of these moves. But I don't wanna. I don't wanna! Alright. Actually, no, 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 no. Before I forget, do what I've been talking about. Um, and trade them out. She's actually gonna be kind of useful right now. So let's make use of her. But actually not with just one dude. <laughs> um, so then we use her for this squad. And we take them out. Just use one of your slightly weaker attacks. In case we need you for pit cleanup again uh, later. Bam. Now then. Squad 3. Oh god. Click the window button again. Oh, stop giving me just one dude left. I mean, I know I'm the one who put myself in that position, but still. It's not my fault, man. I kind of don't like her getting hit with that again. You know what? This is actually a really good place to use Harvest. It'll heal her a little bit. It'll heal her a little bit. So... Uh, and I don't think that the Dark Impact will do so much damage to her that she won't recover it with Harvest. I hope not, anyway. <laughs> I guess I'll see. Okay. Now then... Oh, did I really not kill that guy? <laughs> oh, it's because she ran out of attacks. Ugh. I don't want Orpha to get hit by that. So you use this. I'm actually putting Orpha in the defender slot. What the fuck is going on? Are, you're still not dead. Are you fucking kidding me? What the actual hell? Uh, actually, Yuta, you have plenty of mine. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop it. Do anything special for Halloween? No, not really. Um, tomorrow I might do like a spook stream. I don't know. I might stream some Umineko or something. Um, or I might just stream more of this. I don't know. I'm, I'm completely undecided. But in terms of like real life plans, nah, man. Uh, not going trick-or-treating. Not planning on going anywhere. Uh, just doing uh, simple run in the mill lazy kind of stuff. I don't work tomorrow, so that part is really awesome. I'm gonna enjoy that, don't get me wrong. How about you, Illusion? Doing anything special? Yes, Flame Shower! Actually do something for me, Orpha. Yes! Look at that, killed two enemies at once. Orpha, you are redeemed. Okay, I I think I need to like pull back and heal. I might as well just do it now, to be honest. Alright, holding control, inevitably going to miss some dialogue. But, you know. What can you do, I guess? You're not dressing up as an anime character? I know, right? What the hell's wrong with me? Um, yeah, we don't have any real ether to use. Do, 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 do. Believe it or not, Illusion, I am not. You get to watch over your little siblings as they trick or treat and give them candy, a candy sack. <laughs> nice. Hey, that sounds kind of fun, you know? I don't have any younger brothers or sisters. I have an older brother, but, uh, you know, he's married and stuff, so I don't think he's going to be going out trick-or-treating this year. <laughs> wow, I just got Himika's ass kicked. Alright, once we take out this boss, I've got to go to bed. I am super tired. It has all hit me, basically, at once, you know how it is. It's like, woo! Bedtime! 
Alright. Um, a continuation battle, so I actually need to consider who I'm going to confront them with. It's probably going to be Asalia and Yuto with Helion, to be honest, but... Uh, yeah, we can... Inevitably, for the Flame Shower, someone's going to be stuck uh, using Ice Banisher. Accurate Block, that's a pretty weak block for a Green Spirit. Impulse Blow is really strong, so we need a strong defender, we need Ice Banisher, and we would preferably need at least a decent attacker. I don't think we want Helion for this, actually. Go out and watch your waifu pillows trick-or-treat. You know, that would be impressive. I don't have any waifu pillows, and I'm pretty sure that even if I did, they couldn't trick-or-treat. But, uh, you know, I've been wrong before. Don't get me wrong. I kind of feel like another blue spirit is the way to go here. Hmm, yeah. Because then I can free up Asalia to attack. Because she's stronger than Nelly, like, by a lot. Yeah, you two will make a good defender. Alright, oops. Now then! Continuation battle. Uh, yeah, we're good. We should be good. And we're not good. Because you need to be on impulse blow. I also want to make sure you're on your strongest defense. I think you are. Yes, you are. And Ice Banisher 3 is the strongest Ice Banisher we've got so far. Hoorah! Oh! Go hard or go home! <laughs> Ow! That was rough. Alright. Well, we're gonna take out their defender this time. Bad news is Yuto is getting his ass kicked. Um, so we're gonna need to take out that attacker as quick as friggin' possible. Ow! I think we can take one more, but then we gotta get him the hell out of there. And we also gotta change Asalia's attacks, because she has none remaining. That's one we need to... Uh... Good thing is, two more of these at most, that's all they can do. And Ice Banisher should kill him, actually. Actually, the attack will kill him first, never mind. Alright. Now then, move him out. Uh, who's got the better one? You got a better one slightly. But in this case, I would rather use Resist 1. And I think that's going to be a very good plan. And we should kill him. Damn. She's still alive? That's all that matters. Hurrah! Occupation. Some good mind. We lost a lot of mind with them, actually. Uh, because we had them attacking so much, or I had them attacking so much. ダッチ I wonder who the ace is. Oh gee. Never would have seen that coming. We got an S rank. We got an S rank. That's surprising. I wonder if there's like double S and triple S ranks. I have no idea. Hey, we got some bonus mana and Ether. That's awesome. Alright, and now I've got to save and end the stream. Woo! Alright, guys. That was a whole lot of fun. Thanks for hanging out with me. Illusion, Lord the Pete. Everybody else who came and hung out. Um, yeah, all you watching on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Have a good night. Hope to see you all next time.